Okay, number four. So a bag contains 64 colored beads. And in that bag, there are all red beads, white yellow beads, and one green bead. Okay, so in total, if we add all these up, we should get 64, which they've done. Now, two beads are selected at random. One at a time without replacement. So keyword is without replacement, which means that if the first pick was our 64, then if you chose another bead from the bag, you don't replace it, so you'll be left with 63, which you'll see in a minute. So find the probability that the green bead is one of the beads selected. Now this is easy. Just pick all the combinations where green is selected. So for example, the first pick could have been green, then I could have picked a red for the second, or the first pick could have been green and then pick a yellow. Or in this case, the first pick could have been red or yellow, then green. So you can see that we've got four combinations. And once you do this, you literally just assign probabilities. So the probability taking a green the first time would be 1 out of 64, because that's how many there is. And on the second pick, we know it's out of 63. The red would be red R out of 63, because we still got all the red beads. And then for the, the green yellow, same thing. Picking a green first is 1 out of 64. And, if, and then picking yellow next, we still got we got Y yellow beads remaining, because we haven't touched it, would be Y out of 63. And then you just repeat the rest for RG and YG. Now, to, to answer this question properly, it's always the total. So you just have to literally work these out, multiply them, you are well, this easy, R times one, Y times one, and then just sum all these up. And when you sum these up, you should get two R plus two Y out of 4,032. And you can simplify this, which is just R plus Y out of 2016. Easy. Now, next question. All right, so the property that both of the Bs are red is 5 out of 84. Show that R satisfies this equation, which is a quadratic. Now, going back to the statement here, the property that both of the Bs are red, this means that we need to show that the first time we pick a red, which is R out of 64, times the second time we pick a red, so we've got one less red, by the way, so whether we had one minus, R minus 1 out of 63, multiplying these two should give us 5 out of 84. Now, the aim is to literally work with this equation here, simplify it, multiply it out like I did below, and then just get this equation. So when you do that, times 4032 across, all of this times 4032 gives us 240, rearrange it and you've got your quadratic equation. Simple, right, not much to be said here. Now next one, C, show, uh, hence show that the only possible value of R is 16. Now this is from B. So you look at the quadratic equation and you just have to solve it. I just use a quadratic formula because it's easy to use where you got and you just have to recall this is how the formula looks like a b and c are the coefficients of the quadratic so in this case the coefficient r squared is one so a is one of b is minus one and of c is minus 240 so just plug into the formula like here and doing it carefully you should get r equals 16 which is true we got that we've done it we showed it or r equals minus 15. And this is of course wrong because remember you're working on the number of bees. You can't have negative amount of bees because that doesn't exist. Okay, so that's that's clear. Now D. Given that at least one of the bees is red, so when they use the word given that guys, yeah, remember that goes on the bottom, and that's always the total area. So we're only concerned about the given that region. Then find the property that they are both red. So I just call this this is for part D. So you go find the property that you want to get red red from the area which is at least one red and now we just got to think about how to get at least one red at least one red pretty much can be made of property of getting red red both times the first one could have been red and the second one could have should have been not red or you could you could have not got red the first time but eventually got red the second time so these are the three options you could have got and of course getting at least one red means it could be any of these three so we have to add them up now to get red red we already have the answer 5 out of 84 because we got that in part uh, B and to get red and not red and oh yeah I forgot to mention one thing because we know R is 16 we can literally solve the rest that means you got 16 red you have one green therefore you have 47 yellow so remember this came from the original equation that's going to be useful so going back to this so getting red and not red so to get red first time we got 16 out of 64 balls and to get not red, it means getting green or yellow, which is add them up 48 out of 63 left. And then the same thing, not red and red, you have 48, not red and 48, which are green and yellows, and so on. Same thing, pretty much identical to the second part. And all you want to do is solve these and then add them up. 
to get a total probability of 37 to 84, which is the at least one red. And then finally, just smashing everything to the formula, red, red, which is 5 by 84, at least one red, which is the total here. Put this in the calculator and you've done it. 5 out of 37, guys. And yeah, that's it. And guys, if you found this video is helpful, you know, please give me a like, share with your friends, subscribe. But otherwise, I shall see you guys in the next one. Ciao.